So I'm here on the New South Wales north coast in the hinterland of Byron Bay and on this property that we're staying on I found one of Australia's most recognisable yet threatened animals and there's one in the tree just behind me here. So koalas, like this little guy here, are marsupials. Uh, so they're not bears at all, as many people think. Their closest living relative is actually the wombat, which I've made a video about, so go check it out in the description below. And because they're marsupials, that means they give birth to their young very prematurely. After a very short gestation period of only about a month, uh, the baby Joey is born, and it's only about two centimeters long. And that Joey then crawls into the pouch of the mother, where it stays suckling on milk for another six to seven months before finally leaving the pouch. Once it leaves, it will uh, ride on the mother's back um, until it is too big to go back into the pouch to suckle on milk, uh, at which point it will leave the mother and find its own home territory. Koalas are incredibly vulnerable creatures. Uh, habitat loss and fragmentation is their single biggest threat. They don't have many predators. Uh, if they come down to the ground, occasionally dingoes will pick them up, uh, and very large pythons could, but other than that, they've not got many predators at all. Despite there being hundreds of eucalypt species, koalas only eat about 30. This means that their diet is obviously incredibly limited. They are also not very sociable animals. They have home ranges and will have favourite trees. These ranges are pretty large and they don't really overlap. Uh, so you can only have a few koalas in a specific area. They also very rarely leave their trees. Uh, they sleep for about 20 hours a day. Uh, like this bloke behind me is trying to, I'll, hopefully I'll be finished soon and I can stop annoying him. But they'll only leave their trees if they've exhausted the food in it, or they're uh, very dehydrated and they need to come down to drink. When threatened by bad weather or fire, unlike most animals, their instinct is to climb higher, which is obviously not a very good idea. All of these factors mean that even slight ecosystem alterations can be absolutely catastrophic. A single fire or a disease like chlamydia can wipe out an entire population very easily. Koalas are elusive, uh, they're not very hard to find. The easiest way to do so is to look for scratch marks on trees or droppings on the ground around trees. This guy was fairly easy to find because he's obviously quite young and not as experienced at hiding from people. During the mating season, between August and February, males also let out a bellowing kind of growl, which is their mating call. And so I've found a few koalas around here by listening to the call. I'll try and record it for you. If I can't, I'll link another video because it's such an incredibly weird noise for such a cute animal. Because they're very hard to find, the total koala population is very hard to estimate, uh, although it is believed that there are less than 100,000 koalas left in the wild, and considering that over 61,000 were affected by the fires last summer, their population size is really on a knife edge at the moment. Koalas are locally common in some areas, like here, although their habitat is incredibly fragmented even in those areas. Over 80% of their habitat has been lost. This means, as I mentioned earlier, it does not take much at all to wipe out an entire population. Despite there being four koalas on this property, there are not that many eucalyptus trees, which means about four is the critical population size. Any more, and there would not be enough food to go around. Populations like this will continue to disappear as their habitat continues to fragment. Unless something is done now to protect their environment, koalas are unfortunately headed for extinction. So with that, I'm going to bid this little fella farewell. Hopefully you can get a bit of rest when I'm gone. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.